I'm Vitor. This is Kaori. Our bus it's you know a party with. We don't have a, a name. And we've been on the road since October of last year. And let's check in. So welcome inside. This is our kitchen area. We got our sink here. Under here we have our propane stove that we use most often. We got our trash can. This is the junk drawer that he has fastened with these guys so it doesn't keep opening when we drive. So the classic junk drawer with meds and vitamins. Under here we have our instant pot that we also use often that I like to make my curry in. We got our pots and pans, we got dishes, the coffee stuff, the magic bullet, all that's down here. Water tank is down there. Here is the pantry area. So we have all our soups and yeah, all our pantry area stuff goes in there. Kitchen, I mean refrigerator stuff in here. And the stove top and the instant pot has been enough for us. And yeah, we've been able to use do everything we need to in here. And the propane tank is back there too. The water is 40 gallon fresh water tank. The sink has been a perfect size for us. I have no complaints. I like it this size, this small. So we got all the fruits and veggies in here. This is our main go-to. And then I have to have my rice. We got coffee. We got the s'mores kit. We got the seasonings up here, the oils back here. Honey, my teas and tahin, more necessary things. We got our plates up here, sponges, straws, cups, and then all our cooking utensils and everything on the side of the wall. There is nothing about the kitchen that I would think of doing differently. Mm -hmm. It works for us. Like it's a good countertop space. It's enough for me to, and I use both sides. So like I'll be having the, the um, stove top here, the instant pot here, cooking rice. And then over here is where I'm like chopping things up and then we get to eat on that side. So to me, it works out perfectly. I love the way we have it laid out and the use of space. So the gray water holds 16 gallons and then I have a switch right here, which I'm not gonna hit, but when we hit the switch, then it dumps all the gray water out. So this is my man's brilliant idea. We love multi-purpose things. So of course, why not have a handle? That's also a bottle opener. I should have a bottle to open right now with it, but it's a, a bottle opener also. This is our workspace and this was designed to be my workspace, but if I'm keeping it real with y'all, I actually like to sit on the bed. But this is our ottoman that my man made in like three hours, just with extra pieces of wood. So this is used also as my bench to sit on and work here. I use this as my like our to do for the week. Back there we have some shoe storage. Under here, he can talk to you about all the electrical control panel stuff. So this is just the knickknacks, you know, the mace that we need, the knives that we need to protect ourselves. Grab the wallet and the mask on the way out, sunglasses, so it's just, just the grab and go stuff here. And then, yeah, so I don't really use this area much. So why I like that we kept it this way is that this whole area folds down so that we could have this as a sleeping area. And I have in the, I do often actually use this hammock and chill here if I just like want my own space to hang and chill. And we can sleep another person if they wanna hang out with us in here. So on this side of the bus, we have our bathroom, which is a bit tiny. There's our composting toilet and we have a shower too. So with hot water, which I love, so we haven't had to use it that much because we use Planet Fitness. And then over on this side, behind this mirror, is our closet. Our closet is what I'd probably do differently. It's just a little bit tight. And so I keep my clothes in these bins and we hang up our clothes here. Um, so maybe just something with more space and more accessibility. But it works for us, so I'm okay with it. And our full length mirror that I need, of course. whole thing started because because of her like meeting her like so for me to I loved it like following on Instagram all the 
you know, usually it was like van life and I was set on buying like a Pro Master, but I just didn't have the, you know, I couldn't jump yet because, you know, I didn't have a girlfriend and things. And, and then three months in, I think we were like just in bed and I showed her like, she's like, oh my God, that's my dream. But she was always dreaming of doing an RV. And I'm like, but the van is, is better. Like, check it out. It's so cool. Da, da, da. And then she's like, I'm in. And then that's how it sparked. And I think it's also just like when I know that this is the woman of my life for the, forever, because like, who's going to do this? Like, you know, who's going to, in my head, it's just like, you know, you're living in, a, in LA in the bubble and, and, you know, and the uh, first time I met someone that's like adventurous and like down to go explore, you know. I'm still working remote, you know, full time. So for me, it was like essential to have, you know, my workspace and I like to, I need to be like quiet. So I, I usually work in here like all the time. Monday through Friday, I'm usually inside just, so I have um, a big screen for me to, you know, usually I have a, at work, I used to have dual monitors. So then I needed a bigger screen, but, but then we also have regular TV, we have the Chrome. So we watch a lot of uh, tiny home tours, you know, all of them just poop poop Friday night. <laughs> But yeah, so normally this is my work area and then I'm kind of made a little like, you know, drink area like I'm into whiskey a lot. So I made a little, you know, my whisk thing and I keep the, you know, all our good drinks. Jack, you know, it has uh, some wine and stock in the back. And, and yeah, usually I just work a lot from here and, you know, get some good views whenever we parked in a good place. You can, if, you know, if the work is stressful, you just look at outside, you know, take a little break and then go back in. So, yeah, we have the, for the internet, we have a Mophie with a Verizon uh, SIM card there. Uh, it hasn't been the greatest because we bought the, the, the Verizon one from like an old service. So I'm looking into uh, different companies now to get a better Wi-Fi. Sometimes I struggle a lot. So then I use most of the time my phone to hotspot it and then that's, that's better. I had a, a little small inverter here just to, this is only a 500 one and we have a 3000 in, in underneath there. So this one is the one that we use the most for the TV, charge computers, phones and everything. And, here is all the switches for our lights. I kind of went, went over on the lights. I have light here, light here. We have another light under the bus. And now, you know, it's a party bus, right? So there's another light on the bottom. And this one is the light for, is a fan and a light on the, or electrical. Yeah, so then I put my all my electrical there. Like visible, easy access. And that, that was a great decision because Usually, like, I thought about putting under the bed, everything there, but, like, I knew, like, usually, you know, the trunk is full of stuff. It would be, like, hard to access. So, this was great, like, for display and also easy to, like, if, if I need to change a fuse or tie things up. It's not the best, you know, but <laughs> I did my best there. I didn't know anything, so a lot of YouTube videos and, like, learning, calling Renergy and, like, hey, this is right. Are you sure? Can I put this together? It's like, so... There's a lot of trial and errors, but uh, we have two, what is 170 amp hours of um, uh, lithium batteries, so 340 total. And then we have three solar panels. It's all Renergy, um, I think 480 watts total of, of solar panels. But yeah, I have a DC to DC charger too. So whenever you're driving the bus, you can uh, charge the, the batteries and that's 40 amps. The refrigerator, it's a, uh, Narco, it's a small little one. I didn't want to spend, uh, you know, a thousand bucks for the, the nice ones. Um, it's all silver. I forgot the, the name of the brand, but I just like, I want to find something cheap and small and it's been great. So during the build out, one thing that was kind of like a mistake again, that it came out being good is that we found those, these two uh, long uh, countertops in Ikea and they were both like, I think it was like 84 uh, inches long or something like that. So I measured like, oh, this is perfect for here. And then right here, this is 48. If we cut it, you know, the leftover is gonna be right here, it's gonna be perfect. And then here I'm like, <laughs> th I mean, maybe three or four inches short, I'm like, hell no. And then like, you know, one day of like, what the hell am I gonna do with this? And then I made a little, another junk drawer, but this one is just for the electronic things, just for the remote control. So I was like, man, actually, that was another mistake that is like, actually it's pretty cool. And then that's her ukulele. So that's, you know, she's learning how to play ukulele. So from the bed, she, she can just pick it up and, 
and play, watch some YouTube videos and learn. The bed is a regular full size bed, so it's a 72 by 50. 52 I think and it wasn't that bad it was like 150 bucks for for just the focus regular just foam and it's 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 hard you know it's not as hard as the floor but it's good so we have our pillows there and the good thing too is like I can lift it up and I, you know this great uh, mechanism of uh, holding it up <laughs> so then I keep some storage here like the main things that we need are you know the fan and some electrical stuff some personal stuff the heater too and yeah easy access this is my drawer too for my shirts underwear things like that so I can I actually have both access I've never done it like this but yeah and then here we keep so much stuff like the batteries some of my tools through here the things for the um, the toilet uh, what's it called Coco. the coco core are there and yeah, so it's a, a design too that I really wanted from the beginning that uh, I seen in a lot of videos. So the only things that we actually didn't do, for example, was the frame of the bed and the deck that we have up there. We went to a welder, so he did it for us, the frame, and helped me put it, to, put it here, and the deck. Oh yeah, we have a lot of pillows here. And then, yeah, I saw, again, I, all my ideas, none, none of them are mine. I just from like the tiny home tour videos that I watch and people that, so it's like, you know, the big pillows that uh, you can stuff things in it. So she has some of her extra clothes, like winter clothes. I think it's here. That one is just like towels and my jackets too, like winter stuff that we're not using no more. Then we put back in the pillow and then we just throw it up here. Like, you know, to watch a movie, we just, you know, stack them up. So it's, it's good that like it's not the pillows that we sleep on it, which are these two, but those are more storage space. So you have to always find ways to, you know, clever store stuff. I test drove some Pro, Pro Masters. I went to multiple places and I almost got one, but it was like another it was thirty something thousand dollars. Like, man, I'm gonna go in debt for for this and and buy a brand new vehicle and just start making holes and I never built anything, so like I'm gonna mess that up. And so then we was like, you know what? Let's first we did a trip. We rented it out of in you know, a website. We did a trip on a van and then we went to a tiny home festival. So definitely you should go to a tiny home festival just to walk in different vehicles and, and just to have an idea. And we did some vans and felt tight. And then we got into a bus and felt like, okay, this is it. You know, open and then we start asking questions and, and the couple was super nice. They were like, man, go to, you know, call up some school, some schools to see if, cause after I think 15 years or something like that, they, they, they have to sell and retire the buses so that you can get for cheap or auctions and all that. So then as soon as we came back from the trip, that was like a Saturday, right? Next Saturday, I was at the auction buying this. It was like, okay, that's it. Once we made our mind, it was like, let's go, let's jump. And, and, and we bought it. So this is uh, our cockpit. Normally I'm the one driving, but but she usually drives too, once in a while. So I did stall cameras. So I have cameras in a, on each side. So I usually I have my, uh, you know, my station here too, my my tablet here. And I, we only do about 60, 65 miles. I try to take it easy on the engine and just go 60, 65, that's the normal speed that I go to. We have the speakers because the engine is very loud so we need a you know loud speakers there. But yeah then very much we have some cup holders that are installed here and more shoe storage over there. Uh, trash. The engine uh, is a 7.3 uh, power stroke diesel engine. It's it's been pretty good and they say it is the the million dollar million uh miles engine that goes forever but if it makes 300,000 i'm already happy this area actually is mostly my workspace so i often sit here with my laptop here and when he's sitting at his desk we use this uh, to block off the area so for my students who are watching this is where miss casey teaches from <laughs> and so this is my office space most of the time because i like windows and he likes darkness so I need to see out and open everything up. So I sit here. This is where we have our collection of masks and hats, my purse, and 
this is where we put our pictures. So up here is like the places that we've been to um, as we go along our trip. And with that, we have our scratch off map of our route so far. So we started in LA, we got to update it, but we're now in Georgia. And then we have a collection of magnets of all the places we've been to and more pictures. We actually, so we said we bought this bus and it was a party bus. So this is what it looked like when we first bought it. So we bought it from an auction and it was filled with mirrors and neon lights and a ball pit. And I wanted to have a party in it before we tore it down. So this is from our party. And then we have our little uh, going away present from my mom and my cousin. They made this for us. And the idea was to stick it outside on the back of the bus, but the, it doesn't stick on. It's like a weaker magnet. So this is our gift from my mom. And here is where we usually have like our expenses, our to-dos. We have a lot of whiteboards and writing spaces. I also can use it for my students if I need a whiteboard space. So like I said, it was a party bus before. So they even the color that you see, it's a vinyl wrap. So, you know, underneath is still yellow, but they already bought it like that. They already had the, the, the name of it on the front. So to me, when I saw that online, it was like perfect. And uh, before we hit the road, I was, I was thinking to have an, a small car in the back so I can pull. And then again, I went to YouTube and just find, you know, figure out different alternatives. And I saw people actually having motorcycles in the back. So I was like, perfect, that's, that's the solution. And then whenever we station there, we just put down and just go explore the motorcycle cycle and it's good too because it's a dual sport so you can take an off-roading too we've done that more in, in back in in west like in arizona and new mexico there's more like places to go in nature we first installed the uh, the solar panels and we we're like thinking about what to do in the back to either go more solar panels or but then we really you know watching youtube again we're like we really like the deck idea and it looks good at least in my opinion he did the little rails and everything we didn't even ask for it so it's been, you know, many places that we go where there's like good nature. We just, we slept there maybe like two, three times and it's good to see the sunsets, you know, it's perfect. So thanks for coming and checking out our party bus home. We have our uh, Instagram handle, it's partywith underscore VK. I'm Vitor, she's Kaori, so, and that's pretty much, I have my personal handle which is a Vitor Hugo NY. <laughs> it was I used to live in New York. And yours? Mine is Cauri Sierra. K-A-O-R-I-C-I-E-R-R-A. Cauri Sierra is my handle. And we're out. We want to go explore Savannah. So see you later.